Welcome back to another video guys. Today it's time to do some maintenance on the car. As you can see, the car is back in the garage. So, the driveway is all done, the car's clean, I cleaned it the other day. Time to do an oil change. Um, it's been a while, so, I mean it's probably only done 5,000 k since I changed it, but it's been over a year. I think you meant to change the oil every, well, 10,000 k's or six months they say, but yeah, so it's probably been 5,000 k's, but yeah, over a year. So, <laughs> it really needs an oil change, so I've still got a bit of engine flush from last time. Kind of in there, so we'll use that. Um, got the new one, that's what I got from Auto One. It seems to be, I've been using this the last couple of old change, seems to be fine. And got a, a Z9 Rico oil filter, so let's get into that. Change the oil now. I don't have an oil container, I normally just use a you know 10 litre bucket or whatever. Don't have one of them, but I found this in the garage, so this will be good. It's actually quite wide, so I'm just going to cut this down, easy to get under the car, and because it's such a big bucket I can cut it down to here and it'll easily still fit five litres in so that'll be good and I'll use that in the future. There we go, happy with that, perfect little oil container thing. Now I've used about Two thirds of this in the last oil change, but I've got a little bit left. I don't know if you have to do oil flush every time. Does, do, what does everyone else do? Do you flush use your oil flush or or just you know do it occasionally? Um, anyway, I got a little bit left, so I've got to start the engine up and let the oil um, warm up and, and thin out. So I might as well just chuck it in before I do that, and it'll help a little bit, I guess. Let it run for uh, five or ten minutes and uh, swap out the oil. Do we be doing this outside so I don't stink out the house? But um, good thing having a, a rear roller door you can sort of air out the garage, so it won't stick the house up too much. What's that tapping noise? I think it's I think it's the car steering. I think it's that. Where it's coming from. It gets quiet after it's gone for a bit, so I don't know if it's just the, the pulley or the actual pump. I don't know. It sounds a bit rattly though, doesn't it? Can you hear that? Looking good though, looking clean. Yeah, that's nasty. That sounds nasty. I need to do something about that. Probably needs a new um, power steering pump anyway. I think it's probably overdue for one. I think it's leaking a little bit. Yeah, there's a little bit of a leak there. So yeah. Check it though, it's still it's still up, um, you know, pretty much full, so that's so funny. So after like exactly ten minutes of just idling, it stopped making the noise. Um, so yeah, anyway. Weird. Maybe it's just yeah, I don't know. What's what's the deal there? I'm sure it's that. I'm exactly, it's coming from there. Given this is my new garage, I don't want any more oil stains, so I've got this massive piece of cardboard under there. Because it'll, no matter what, even though I've got a big, um, this thing, here's it going, yeah. At least that's a lot bigger than the, the standard bucket that I use, but so that'll be good. But it seems to like, you always, especially when you take the oil filter off, it ends up leaking, dripping somewhere, and then running down somewhere and leaking somewhere else. So I'm gonna have a massive bit of thick cardboard. So that should be fine. We've got heaps of cardboard. <laughs> I've, I've filled half a skip full of cardboard because we uh, uh, had a whole lot of furniture and blinds and stuff and everything came in cardboard. So yeah, plenty of cardboard. So might as well use it. Just be extra cautious. We've got two jack stands and a spare wheel under there before I go under there. So just playing it safe as usual. It's definitely leaking, isn't it? See all that, it's dripping. I don't have any gloves, so it's not too hot. I normally have a set of gloves, I can't find any, so yeah, we'll just take care. So for those playing at home, it's a 19mm uh, on the EFs. <coughs> Some points. Oh, nice, not too bad. A little bit on the fingers. How's your old? 
not many Ks, probably only 5,000 Ks, but over a year old, so yeah. It's nice and warm, but it didn't burn me, so that's good. <laughs> now, last time I went to Auto One, I said I want a sump um, washer. Um, they gave me, oh, there was an option to get a, an aluminium one or a copper one, and he gave me an aluminium one. I thought that was a crush washer, which has crushed. I don't know why it didn't seal properly. Um, I cleaned it all up properly. I think I should have used the copper one. But anyway, I've just got some seal on here this time. I used that the time before, and that was fine. Just put some seal on the thread and between the, the, the washer and didn't leak at all. So I'm just going to do that this time. So people say we use like Teflon tape or just get a brand new sump. You can get ones with like rubber O-rings on them. All different types, but a, a bit of seal will be fine. A little bit of this will be fine. I used that the time before last. I didn't have, I had some, but it was all dried out and just gunky, so I didn't use it last time. That's why it leaks. So, gonna use, got a fresh pack, gonna use this. It should be right. No more leaks. Stupid garage floor. And before I forget, I better change the uh, oil filter so it's down down there, so I'll access it from below again. In there. Now, this is the dangerous part as far as <laughs> getting oil everywhere because it'll end up leaking down the frame and I don't know, the K frame. And... No, I've got to let it, that go first. It should be hand tight. I should be able to get it undone without oil on my hands. I didn't do it up too tight last time, so hopefully it'll come off. See what I mean? Take the oil filter off and it somehow leaks down there. And I think I've pretty much got it all. Oh, there's drip there, but there's always an issue when you get the... Uh, how do you do it? How does anyone do it without making a mess? You can't. Because the oil filter is up in there and it's going gonna, it's gonna to leak in this, um, this bit and then it's going to drip down there. Anyway, backed it up even higher on that side, and now it's starting to st stream again. <laughs> Get all of the old oil out. Now to clean up all the oil and crap, I reckon uh, these wipes, two bucks for 120 pack, they're really good though, like alcohol wipes. So I reckon they're good, so I wipe down all the sump and everything with them. Get rid of the oil. So I'm just wiping out all the like the frame and everything. There's so much crap coming out, look at all the dirt and oil and stuff. So giving them a good clean at least. It's probably never had that. Now given the I'm gonna put some gasket maker on there, I'm gonna give the thread here and the washer a really good clean out. And I've just let down the jack a little bit and put them jack stands a little bit lower so that that was just kept dripping. So that should stop dripping now. I'll clean all that out. And then, uh, yeah, I'll put the put the sump plug back in. Now I've literally wiped down everything, so there shouldn't be any more leaks. Oh, it's hard to film and work at the same time underneath the car. I really need a hoist, don't I? Don't we all? Always remember, whenever you do an oil change, make sure you wear a white shirt. Very wise. Funny story, actually, when my son was born. I caught my son coming out and I had a, uh, a white shirt on, so yeah, I'm used to getting white shirts dirty. <laughs> so I'm going to use a bit of this uh, gasket maker. So what you do is you put a bit on, you just hand tight the uh, bolt and then leave it an hour for it to sort of kind of dry and then you then you do up another half turn to, you know, to spec. So yeah, that's what you do. A bit on the thread, put some on the uh, washer as well. I don't want this thing to bloody leak. Made a miss, made, made a bit of a mess, but that's what you do. Wipe the excess off the top so it doesn't go into the sump, and um, yeah, all good. Tell you what, these wipes are good for getting oil off your hands and also a uh, gasket maker. <laughs> Now while we wait for that uh, gasket maker to dry, I guess we can uh, repair the uh, oil filter. Now what's people's opinion on this? Do, do people uh, fill up their oil filters with oil? Um, I've always been told to, you fill it up with oil and then you, yeah, you just put a little bit around there so it doesn't, um, when you screw it in it, it seals nicely, it doesn't like bunch up and cause a leak. But um, yeah, it'll be interesting to know if people are uh, do fill their oil 
filters up. Does it really make a difference? Is it worth it? I've always been told to do it. This is the oil I'm using. 20W50 Neulon, high kilometer, I guess it's high kilometer. So it suits Ford Falcon, so I guess that's uh, what I should use. Um, it's always fairly cheap at Auto One. Um, don't know that that's a good thing though, <laughs> that it's cheap, but um, yeah, do people use this stuff? What do you guys use? Um, let me know in the comments. Go. Just get that little bit of oil that's on there. Let's put it around so it uh, screws in nicely. All right, it's absolutely pouring outside now, so glad we're working inside today. Um, got the oil filter in, that's all good. Got the sun plug in, just got to knit that up um, in about half an hour or so. So always remember to put your oil filter and your sun plug in before you fill it up. And then also remember to fill up. Don't go driving off without doing that last step. That's kind of important. Yeah, just looking around my car, I found some weird stuff. Like, I haven't noticed this before, but what's this plug? Is that meant to be unplugged? I, I think it's to do with the, the wipers, maybe for like a wagon, but it's still there for the sedan. So it's just left unplugged, maybe. Is that it? Does anyone know? And then, and then I found this loose, I don't know, what is that? I haven't gone in with the light yet. Is it a wire or... Where are we? Under here. Now what's this? What's this thing? So we're below the washer bottle. What's that? And is that meant to be... She means it's meant to be plugged into there. But what is that? Anyone know what that is? And is this thing meant to be plugged into there? I think it might be. Take that off. Yeah, I'm sure that's meant to be plugged into there. Well, what is that? What is that thing? <laughs> oh yeah, and that's my corn leak. I, th I thought it was that hose. Bit of a leak there. It's not too bad. Maybe I could just tighten it up or just adjust it slightly. But I think I need new, all new hoses. And uh, here's my coolant leak. I've realised it was on the garage floor, so it's just here. This uh, coolant hose, so um, it's not too bad. Oh, is it leaking from up there? Because it's coming down. This is the lower point. Maybe I could tighten something up. But I remember when doing my head gasket that that was um, that was really hard to put back on, and I didn't think I quite did it properly. And I probably just to get the hose off to start with was a nightmare, and I ripped it and. I probably should, put a, probably should have put a new one on, but I think it might be leaking up there. But it's only a tiny, tiny leak. I don't know. But yeah. But yeah, so what is this thing? Um, that's meant to go on there. Well, that's where it came from. I pulled off. And this... I'm assuming that goes in there. It's like facing that way. But, well, I don't know. I've got no errors on my car. My car seems to be working fine. Can I plug it back in? See what happens? <laughs> Now I don't have a oil funnel, so I just uh, use the top of a drink container. That'll do. I'm yeah, giving that about an hour to dry out, so just uh, do it up, not too tight, just just firm. That'll probably do. Uh, yep. Yeah, that's firm enough, and that should hold oil, hopefully. And now I've given a, a few hours just to dry that um, gasket maker off, so chuck that in there and uh, let's pour the oil in. Now just double check, yes I do have the oil filter in, I've tightened up the sump plug, all good, let's put the oil in. And that's all done, so good for another six months, probably 12 months, but anyway. Um, just do a bit more cleaning up in the in the bay. Got to do the uh, uh, coolant bottle reservoir. Um, I think it needs some new hoses. 
definitely need some new hoses. Some some of them are okay. There must be original ones. The original, they have support on them. So I reckon they're probably just about all original. So probably need to be done. It's looking nice and clean in the sun. Nice and fresh. So anyway, I've um, been meaning to do this for a while. Trying to get the, the rest of the tint off this window. So I've put a... Didn't have black plastic bag, so I've used a white plastic bag, but I've put some black like weed matting behind there to make it nice and hot in the sun. It's a nice sunny day. I need the car out any the garage anyway, because I'm rearranging, sorting out, cleaning up the garage. I need that desk inside for work, so yeah. That's what we're doing today. So we'll see. We'll see if that uh, plastic bag trick works and I'll just spray a bit of quick detailer in there to for a bit of moisture. Hopefully it'll sweat up in there and it'll Start removing that adhesive and I can just get a razor blade and um, start peeling off a lot easier than I could with the steamer and that, so wish me luck. I've let it sit outside for an hour or so. It's getting pretty hot in there and it's coming off heaps easier. I think hang on for some, some good chunks. Um, look, unfortunately I peeled um, the whole the first layer, so it's just like the adhesive layer that's still to come, so it's sort of breaking up. but. It's made it heaps easier to get off, so um, just got to keep at it. Spray a bit more in there so that it dried out a bit. So spray a bit more um, water in there, get it really sweaty, and um, yeah, should be able to to get it done. So that's heaps better now. I just got a little patch there I'm in trouble with, but the residue it leaves, you can easily just get it off with a bit of isopropyl alcohol, IP wipe down um, IPA on a rag and just. Give it a rub and it gets all that last little bit of residue off once you get the tint like the purple crap off you can rub it and then it'll be beautiful and i'm not sure if i'm actually going to tint these windows again i might just leave it clear i don't know we'll see 